Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about how narcissists don't need you, okay? And this this is very debatable. And a lot of the experts will say, well, narcissists need you. They need you for that supply and everything like this. And the confusion comes in the fact that narcissists need supply, but they don't necessarily need you, okay? And I wish people would stop go out, going out there and saying, narcissists need you, narcissists need you, and everything like that. Because it's like this. If a narcissist has a lot of options and there's a lot of other supply out there, which there is in today's world with social media and accessibility to so much supply via inbox, via dating apps and everything else, this is why a lot of marriages are breaking up. This is why a lot of relationships are breaking up. This is why a lot of people can't get into a relationship because of the option factor, okay? So, you guys, I understand this. Narcissists do not need you if they have another supply that they could replace you with. And this happens all the time. This is what we talk about with the discard. When a narcissist discards you, it's because they do have another option to replace you. So, needless to say... Stop saying narcissists need you when they don't need you specifically. See, it's got to be specific. They need another supply. They need somebody to validate them or something like that. But they don't necessarily need you, okay? So that supply could be anything. It could be for sex. It could be for money. It could be for ego. And in today's world, when you talk about supply and demand... Okay, there's so much supply out there that the narcissist is running with it. They're running with social media. Social media has enabled the narcissist to be able to not have to adhere to strict boundaries. They don't have to put up with your nonsense of of strict boundaries. Not if they could get other supply. And it all depends on, number one, how good a manipulator they are, how charming they are, maybe how good looking they are, maybe if they have money already and they can manipulate and get other supply for money, whatever it is, they use their money to try to get other supply. It could be for sex or something like that. Or they could use their looks to try to get other supply as far as a place to live or to get you to invest in a business or something like that. So understand, it's about supply and demand. So narcissists, they don't need quote unquote you. Narcissists need quote unquote supply, okay? Something that's going to validate them since they never felt validated as a child for whatever reason, okay? They have a massive insecurity complex. So they do need somebody that they can put down to make themselves feel better, okay? They do need somebody that will tell them they're right and everything like that. They may need somebody for financial reasons, but, you know, if you're not doing it and they have a way of getting it somewhere else, guess what? They don't need you, okay? So if if you could be replaced, the narcissist doesn't need you, and this happens all the time. And will people stop saying the narcissist needs you? Because so many people are being left, Well, if the narcissist needs you so badly, why are they dumping all these people and discarding these people or leaving a 20-year marriage or a 30-year marriage or not committing? Because, duh, they don't need you, all right? They can get other supply. They need other supply. They don't necessarily need you. And that's where the confusion is, you guys. So the last thing that you want to do is think that you have the upper hand with that narcissist. Now... If you are a supply that they necessarily need, okay, maybe you're their only option for financial reasons. Maybe all their other options, and they're looking for a a supply of money, maybe their other options don't have money, but you have that money. Then that narcissist may need your supply. Understand this. Uh, The other way of looking at it is, 
if a narcissist is with you because let's say they're looking for sex or something like that, if they could get sex somewhere else, guess what? They don't need you. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. And understand this too, you guys. When a narcissist comes back to you, it may be because their other options aren't working out or they were rejected by the other supply. So it's not so much necessarily that they need you as a person. They need whatever you had to offer them. You were their best option. It's all about options. But the thing that you have to keep in mind is they're not coming back for love. They're coming back because you got something that they want. All right. They're going through a rough patch and now they want to come back to you because you're they're They're having a dry spell out there where they got rejected and now they're going to try you and they're going to come back because of something that you have. But keep in mind, OK, it's not necessary. They may need you at that particular time, but once they get back with you in time, they're going to find another option. And guess what? They won't need you again. All right. They may find somebody that has a better supply than you. So a narcissist is never content on the supply that they have. They always think there's something better out there. Okay. They are always, they are not content. They are never satisfied. This is why it's impossible to be with a narcissist because they don't appreciate what they have. They always think there's something better out there. So they, they're they not coming back to you because they necessarily need you. They need you at that time, okay? At that particular time. Nothing will satisfy a narcissist. Understand this. Nothing will satisfy the, them. They are empty individuals that feel an emptiness within themselves and it all stems from their childhood. And there is absolutely nothing that you could do to change that, okay? Like I had somebody ask me, well, if I give the narcissist everything they want, you know, financially, try to make them happy, if I do everything for this narcissist, will that narcissist be happy? And the answer is absolutely not in time. They may be happy for a little while, but the narcissist gets bored. I got to say this 3,001 times to people, okay? A narcissist is a thrill seeker. They always want that high. They want that oxytocin in their mind of something new and fresh. This is why they love cheating. It's not per se that they're cheating for the sex. They're they get a thrill out of being deceitful. They get a thrill out of being sneaky. They get a thrill out of getting over on you. It makes them feel important. It makes them feel clever and it makes them feel superior to you. You're the dope that doesn't know that they're cheating on you, okay? And they'll sit there and they'll have a little smirky smile on as you're talking to them and in the back of their mind, they're laughing at you because they know something that you don't, okay? And narcissists love this, especially covert narcissists. They, they're all about secrets. They always have secrets. Um, you know, they may be communicating with somebody else that you don't know about when they're not around you. And every time that you argue with that narcissist, a lot of times a narcissist will get back at you by cheating, Okay, this is how they pay back their partners a lot of times. They figure, okay, you know, you want to cheat and everything like, I mean, you want to argue with me and everything like that, I'm going to go cheat on you. How do I know? Because I was with somebody who was like that, okay? I, I was dating somebody and this particular person even told me, if I wanted to get back at you, all I have to do is cheat on you. This was a malignant narcissist that I was dealing with, the most snakiest thing you've ever seen in your life, all right? But at the time, I didn't know anything about what a malignant narcissist was or the snaky things, you know? This one was real smooth, one of the smoothest out there, okay? And, you know, this is how I know a lot of what I know from the different people that I have been around all of my life, not just a past ex, all of my life. 
from childhood on up, okay? This is why I could spot it like that. And this is why I'm trying to educate people so that they could spot it and they don't get hurt by it. So never ever feel like you are in control of that narcissist if that narcissist has other options. Because I got news for you. You could be the prettiest or most handsome person in the world. You could, you know, have everything going for you. And guess what? That narcissist is still gonna, could still screw you over. Why? Because they got bored with you. Okay, you guys? So never feel like that narcissist needs you if they can get another supply. All right? Never feel like that. You have to understand that when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're not in a stable relationship. This person is not a ride or die. This person can drop you at the drop of a hat if something better comes down the street, all right? Or something else walks in their life or somebody new starts working at their job and they're interested in them. It doesn't matter, you know, that you're good looking or you're good to the narcissist or you got money or something like that. A narcissist will work on impulses. The minute that they get bored, boom, they want something else that's going to give them that thrill. Okay. And unfortunately, the longer you're with the, the narcissist, the more you become the old shoe to that narcissist. And the more that narcissist is going to be looking elsewhere if they haven't already. A lot of times you get involved with a narcissist. Understand this, that narcissist is never truly single. And what do I mean by that? Even though they tell you they're single, all right? And I did a reel on this. This, this was an explosive reel that a lot of people don't realize. Narcissists can be technically single, okay? In other words, they're not married, they're not engaged, they're not in a relationship, but they're not completely single because they always have something going on. There's always connections. They're talking to multiple people. They're prospecting for, for supply, whether it's sex, money, ego trip, whatever it is, all right? So when you walk into a relationship with a narc, understand this. 99% of the time, there is communication there with that narc with somebody else. It could be a coworker, it could be a friend, it could be an ex. A lot of times, narcs love to keep communication with their ex. That's their backup plan if things don't work out with you, okay? So you're never you're not getting somebody that's coming in solo that's working on a relationship with you and they look at you as the, you know, they're going to be with you till the end of time, okay? A narcissist generally, all right, not all narcissists, but a large majority of narcissists do not believe in monogamy, okay? They may tell you that, oh yeah, you know, I'm looking for that one and this and that, but a narcissist, what I say, what I say, a narcissist gets bored, okay? And they feel entitled. And they're going to do whatever they could do if they feel they could get away with it, all right? Why do narcissists cheat a lot of times? Because they can, all right? Because you can't check them. They could do it on their lunch hour. They could do it before work. They could tell you they're sleeping. Long distance narcissists could be in completely other relationships and tell you they're in a relationship with you, okay? So the narcissist doesn't need you. Ta-da! Trust me when I tell you, you guys, if they could replace you, and they feel it's a better option for them, they will do it, okay? They want the best that they can get. They, they don't just settle, okay? Narcissists don't settle, all right? I gotta do a reel on this because this is so true. They always want more, okay? They always, even though they could be the biggest loser narcissist, and this is what you're gonna find too as well. The bigger the loser, the more they feel entitled, the more they feel they could live off you or move into your house or insult you or, you know, call you every name in the book. And meanwhile, it's the ones that got nothing that got the biggest mouths that are putting you down and criticizing you. And why is this? Because they're so 
damn insecure and it makes them feel better to put you down. It makes them feel like there's something. They're not going to lift you up. They're going to put you down because they're competitive with you. They want to be on top. Even if you have more than that narcissist, even if you're better looking than that, than that narcissist, or you've got more than that narcissist, maybe you own a house, maybe you have money, maybe you have a business, and you got a narcissist that's got nothing, that narcissist is going to be the one that's going to try to rip you down, okay? Understand that. So when you're dealing with these people, look at who you're dealing with. Analyze who you're dealing with. Who are you to judge me? Look at your situation. This is why I tell people all the time, It doesn't matter what a narcissist says, because anything a narcissist says means shit, all right? Because you're dealing with a toxic person that is out to rip you down to make themselves feel better, okay? So don't ever give any credence to a narcissist or, or give them any kind of importance whatsoever. You disengage and walk away from somebody toxic, but always look at their situation, look at their life, look at their track record. It's like when you go for a job, you guys, what's the first thing that that employer is gonna do? They're gonna check you out. And that's exactly what y'all should be doing is checking these people out, their past. You know, what's their financial track record? Are they responsible? Do they pay bills? You know, do they have a messed up relationship history? Maybe they can't stay in a relationship. Or maybe they're always complaining about their exes or flipping blame on everybody else. Ding, ding, red flag, red flag, red flag. Because however they treat their exes, guess what? That's how they're going to treat you. And I get people that ask me this all the time. Well, you know, are they going to treat the new supply better or something like that? They're going to treat the new supply just like they treated you. Only the difference is they may manipulate a little better because they learned from all their experiences in past relationships how to manipulate better. What works best and what doesn't. And it really depends on the new supply that they're dealing with, how, how smart they are or whether they're dealing with a real dope that doesn't see through a lot that the narcissist, the, the, the person may not have experience in dealing with narcissists. So the narcissist may be getting over on that new supply and everything like that. But they'll learn in time. They'll learn. Okay. And they'll have a lot of wasted time as well. So the, the thing is this, you guys, when you're dealing with a narcissist, don't ever feel like they need you because they don't. If they can get something else and they can replace you, they will, okay? Because they don't value you as a person, all right? They don't have a moral compass, which means they don't value human beings for their internal of who they are, their kindness, and and their good heart, and everything like that. A narcissist doesn't value that, okay? The only way they value that is if they could get over on you, and they feel like, you know what? You're a sucker, all right? Because you're not seeing the narcissist tricks. So never, ever feel like that, that you have control over that narcissist. The only control you have over a narcissist is to walk away and not deal with them or put yourself in their game. You walk away from the game. The minute you see any kind of shady shit, you, you, you distance yourself and you say, uh, 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 I'm dealing with toxic. I need to get away from this. I need to get away with this. I'm, I'm not dealing with a truthful person. The minute this person lies to you, understand that's the first of the next 10 and more lies that are coming down the pike, all right? Now you know that the, you're dealing with a liar, and when you're dealing with a liar, you ain't going to have any trust, okay? So I hope that helps you guys, all right? And, you know, the only one that, you know, you should be worried about is yourself and that people respect you, which a narcissist doesn't respect anybody, okay? (laughs) Because they're a liar and a manipulator. And, you know, never feel like the way it is, is, you know, you don't win in the game with a narcissist because they don't play by the rules, all right? So to say that a narcissist needs you, understand they don't need you. They just need a quote, supply, which could be anybody, 
okay? You are replaceable. I hate to tell you that, but you got to hear it so that you know to get away from these people. You will never have stability in a relationship with a narc because they will bail on you if something else comes along. I hope that helps you. If it did, please hit the subscribe button and please share the podcast. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. If you have a dating or relationship question or you need an opinion on something, go to the link in the bio and ask a question and get a personalized video sent back to you. It's in the link tree slash the game exposed and you could ask a question and get a personalized video confidentially sent to you um, answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that the Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio. And you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp 123 and also on Instagram, the game exp 123. Okay? And have a great day.